Okay, here we are. After about two to two and a half hours of work on Friday night, I have 14 completed C-rings that have been sliced from the three-inch pipe, and I've cut the excess material out of the out of the edge so that the rings can be compressed into the three-inch pipe at the bottom of the T-cell. So I'm just going to take and uh, fit these into these into these openings. And what I need to do now is I need to take the edges and smooth them down with the grinding wheel so that they fit precisely inside the inside diameter of the three inch pipe. I'll do that on the grinding wheel. Okay, we're over at the grinding wheel now and I'm going to take the unfinished ring and I'm going to fit it to the outside of the to the inside of the opening on the three inch pipe to try and see and guesstimate just about how much material I need to remove from the end of the C-rings uh, to get it to fit correctly. So just trying to fit it there. Now I'm going to shave off a little bit on each end with the grinding wheel. And I'm just lightly r letting it ride along the side of the wheel to give a nice flat surface on each side. Getting rid of the burrs that were created from the hacksaw. And try another fit. See if I remove the correct amount. As you can see it did go in into the pipe and pretty good pretty good uh, fit. Now that small gap again is uh, going to allow some of the electrolyte to flow underneath the plates and that is not undesirable. In the end I'm going to take and actually cut a groove at the edge of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and just complete the remaining 13 of the C-rings on the grinding wheel and get them all prepped and ready to assemble with the with the plates. Okay, that was fun. It took me a little bit less time than I thought. So here we are. All 14 of the C-ring shims are completed. They're ready to be assembled uh, to the inside of the inverted T-cell. There are two groupings of shims, seven on each side, and uh, we'll have seven up on the top here. All right. And the next step is to start cutting the stainless steel shims, or the stainless steel circular plates now, to go inside the inverted T-cell. The rod will extend in the middle of the T-cell there where the plates are connected. And there will be four neutrals and two charged plates on, on each side of the inverted T.